If you're coming to Bali, I know you're wondering where should I stay? Well, we got you covered. Today's video, we're gonna be sharing with you a villa for $50 a night in Canggu, comparing it to a villa in Abud for $700 a night. The biggest difference between these two bookings is really your group size, but we're gonna get into the details in just a second. So let's start the video and show you all the cool villas. First, we're gonna show you the tour of this massive $700 a night luxury villa here in Ubud. Ubud is an hour and a half away from the airport and it's known to be the art and cultural district of Bali. This is where Eat, Pray, Love, the movie was filmed and it's a lot less crowded than Chengdu. Of course, if you go to the city center, there's gonna be crowds, but this area has so much more open space, especially with rice terraces. This villa is in the middle of nowhere. To get here, you have to drive 10 minutes on this dirt and bumpy road. It was kind of wild, but once you get here, you have peace and quiet. Obviously Obviously, Ian and I never stay at villas that hold this many people. The reason we were here was because we were hosting a content creator retreat where we taught students how to make a full-time living um, in this career path. There were four teachers, 10 students, so 14 people total. Technically, it only holds 12, but the max is 14. So we were able to actually hire an outside company and they brought two beds in. But having extra people means that you get to lower the price. So if you divide 700 by 14, it's not as expensive as you think. Everyone left yesterday, that's why the kitchen is the mess and our butler Balik has not arrived yet. That's the best part. He comes with the Airbnb. He'll check in on you once a day, come do the dishes, grab stuff if you need it from in town. That's really great, but he doesn't stay here. So this place is totally yours and he's kind of just like on call if you need him. Another thing that comes with the Airbnb is everyday cleaning of the rooms, which I think is great. And lastly, we did have an amazing chef, which we included in this $700 price, but technically we outsourced him. So we hired him outside of the Airbnb. If you're somewhere like this, a little bit further out of town and you have a big group of people, it's a really good idea to hire a chef because otherwise you're gonna be having to hire cars every day to get into town, get everyone to go at the same time, sit down for dinner. It's just way longer and way less convenient. We are obsessed with Lyon. He was just so much fun to have for three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. At dinner, we even had a four course meal, salad, soup, main dish, and a dessert. But the best part was he was able to accommodate everyone's dietary restrictions. So we had some gluten-free students. We we had someone that was vegetarian. Our chef is gonna be linked in the description below and he is hands down the best chef in all of Bali. Let's change Wyon's life and get him booked up throughout the year. So right here is where we would teach classes. We were able to have a rental projector right here in front of the students so we could teach every single day. I was expecting this room because it's massive to have air conditioning, but it did not. So maybe for this Airbnb, please get some better air conditioning here because some days got really hot. So you have the kitchen, dining room table, family room over there, and even an extra room, chill out room over here. Wi-Fi is in the laundry room over there. And once it hits anywhere in this room, it's so spotty. So a lot of people that go over to that laundry room, download stuff, come back in here. They need better Wi-Fi that extends throughout the entire villa. The architecture of this villa is just so elite. Again, don't know much about home decor, but I know how it makes me feel and I get excited about this pit thing. Just another seating area. I tried to eat out here as much as I could. Ian and I hung out here last night and you know, just the leading lines. Oh my God, a lizard just jumped in the pool. A lizard just jumped in the pool. His friend's looking, he's gonna drown. Oh, Where is he? Oh, he's trying to get out. He's a salamander. Get him, man. He's right there. Don't that's what salamanders do. Salamander without a tail. Aw, he's been hitting Bye, buddy. Bye. Don't fall in the pool again. There's six bedrooms. Each bedroom has one big bed, but you can also split the bed into two, which we did for a lot of our students so they don't have to sleep together. And this is the beautiful view from the corner rooms. Got a little pool going on here. Rice terrace. This is kind of like a yoga area if whoever wants to stretch. The toilet is separate from the shower, which is great if you have multiple people because then you're not constantly fighting for the bathroom. Shower is amazing. Great water pressure. Hot. I love this shower. Yeah, just a really, really nice bathroom. And lastly, there is also an outdoor shower. It's got two shower heads outdoor, which that's pretty bougie if you ask me. Beautiful view. I wish I would have used that more. And this is the gym that they have here. It's very, very basic. We actually went into town about 15 minutes whenever we wanted to work out because this really didn't do it for us. There's a small treadmill, a bike, and then some weights. Even though the gym's kind of crappy, you still have this beautiful view of the rice terraces. You'll see locals come up to this edge and work in the rice paddies, and you could get some beautiful sunset or sunrise photos out here. 
And of course, the best part is the pool. It's a, what is it, a T-shape? It's like a Tetris shape. I know a lot of people don't like being this far away from town, but I love it. I like being secluded. This is like my little village with all my people and no one can touch us. <laughs> this is definitely a lengthy pool, so if you like a little workout, I feel like I'm gonna add. If you like to work out, hop in. Go for a swim. This is the most important feature of the villa. Are you the small dinkle man? I hope this isn't like disrespecting their culture in any way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Cutting in real quick to introduce the sponsor of this video, Masterworks. As you guys all know, Anna and I love traveling the world, but even if you're in a dream destination like Bali, inflation will sadly follow you everywhere you go. If you're looking to save up for your next trip, you not only want to shield your money from inflation, but you also want it working for you too. Usually investing in stocks and bonds is a great way to start making some cash, but if you've been watching the stock market over the past couple years, that's not always the case. According to Forbes, there's one asset in particular to look out for in times of crisis, and that's investing in fine art. The last time inflation was this high, only three assets outperformed the inflation rate, and out of those three, fine art appreciated an average of 17.5%. With Masterworks, you can start investing in fine art by legends like Picasso and Monet without spending millions of dollars on an entire painting. What's crazy is that seven of the last eight paintings they sold delivered net returns over 17% for their investors. Over half a million people have already invested with Masterworks, and with inflation still high, that number is growing fast. Best part is you can gain priority access with our link in the description below and start your art investing journey today. Now we've moved on to villa number two in Changu. It's $50 a night. And the biggest difference between this villa and the last one we were at is that this one is shared. What that means is we share the kitchen area and the pool area with other guests. Let me take you inside. First, you have this beautiful hand carved door. It's so intricate. If you don't follow us on Instagram, I actually posted a few reels on this villa and they went viral. So make sure to follow us on Instagram so you can see stuff before we post it on YouTube. But this was basically the reel. I just opened the door and exposed this beautiful view. And and yeah, I mean, there's not as much to this place, I think. One of my favorite parts about this villa is this conversation pit with the pool backdrop. You could have your breakfast down here, do some work or hang out with friends at night. Even though it's shared, it does feel private at times throughout the day. This place as a whole does feel a little bit more compact than the one in Abud, and that's really because we're in Changu. Changu is much more built up, it's more crowded, but what you're sacrificing in space, you're getting more livability. So Changu has better Wi-Fi, more cafes, more things to do lots of gym options so we have a gym that's four minutes down the road so it's basically kind of living in like a city versus in the country in a way i think for long periods of time we prefer changu just in case we want to hang out with friends or go do something there's that social aspect that we love this is just some more seating area a nice little kitchen dinner table and this is the kitchen this is just kind of outdoor living there's a stove that you can cook you are able to use any of their plates silverware let me just grab my fruit real quick just down the street from us we were able to pick up some fruit. I got three passion fruits, uh, dragon fruit and mango, and all of this is a dollar and 42 cents. And I know you can't get like anything for a dollar and 42 cents in the US. I really love the layout of this villa, especially cause there's little hidden spots to hang out like this one. We're heading up to the second floor where there's more rooms. And up here, there is a chill hangout spot with some beanbag chairs. You don't need to get fancy with the way you cut your fruit. Just get a spoon and dig in. Dragon fruits are so cool and they're made into smoothie bowls because the bright color of it, it's so pretty. It's probably the prettiest fruit out there. And passion fruit is one of the tastiest and so underrated. Our room's right here, so we can easily just open up and run out. We're waiting to show you our room for them to clean it. Just like the last place, they clean our room every day. The best part about this place is they do your laundry for free, or it's included in the price. So we get clean laundry every day. <laughs> Welcome to our crib. See, you still get a beautiful room all to yourself. That's why I don't really care that it's a shared area, because think about it. If you're staying at a hotel, you still have to share the pool with other people. We've got a king size bed, a lot of seating areas, and of course, the personal touches that this villa has, which is like the really cool wooden doors. We've got a very nice bathtub and a shower with this cool view. Hopefully this video will help you decide where you want to stay in Bali. Honestly, there's so many amazing spots, so make sure to really look around. And if you want to subscribe and follow us along our own journey, please hit that button. Like this video, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you. <laughs>